Hi, and welcome to another Type With Me. This week we go on further with functional TypeScript programming. We will discuss option, map, flatten, and chain, right? So, are you ready to go for the second part of functional programming TypeScript? Well, let's go. So, last week we saw what pipe and flow is. So, if you don't know already what that is well go to that video first and then come back to this video right uh, but basically uh, flow just creates a flow between different functions right so now we are going to go a little bit deeper into uh, option what is an option well option is actually a type right and that type can be none or some from a certain type right and it's just a wrapper around null or undefined something that can be null can be undefined or can have a certain value of a certain type and you can say why do we need that wrapper right but i will explain you why you can well why you need it why it's very important to do so and what the benefits are so imagine that we have something like this we have an interface foo which can have a property bar right and i'm just going to do it like this can have just a property bar when we have foo it needs to have a property bar right and that can be string well foo can be of foo or it can be undefined and if we go through this we go to a pipe where we have foo here and then here in our interface we can have foo which can be um foo or undefined we get bar out of this and then we do do a console.log. If we execute this, we get the following result, right? We get just hello. And that's fine. But if we do this, if we do undefined, right? And we execute it. We're just going to save it here. When we execute it, You'll see that we get an uncatched type error, right? We cannot destruct the property bar of undefined as it's undefined. Right? The interface foo. So this is something that can happen when you write code and then you have something uh, at, at one time. So how do we solve this? Well, we can very easily solve this with the uh, option, um, option type of the uh, functional programming TypeScript library. And I'll show you how. So first of all, we can again get that from uh, Skypack. So we do that by just uh, using the lib option and then say that we are using O. Why I'm using O? Well, you will find a lot of examples on the internet that also are using the O, right? So, so that's there. And then of course, I'm just going to define a pipe again so here I'm going to do the following thing we are going to do pipe of foo and then we are going to use the function from nullable so he is going to convert foo into something that can be nullable and then of course we can map it right and then do a console.log if we do so, you will see that we will get sum and then the value hello. So if I'm just going to copy and paste it, and you are using here undefined, for example, well, then you'll see that we get tag none. You can also very easily have here something like NOL, which is going to give the same result here. So that's very powerful, right? So what with optional chaining, right? So if you do so and you have here uh, foo, which can have a uh, property first, right? We can do bar undefined. And of course we can do this, right? And then you'll see when we run this, it will just print out undefined, right? If we have here undefined, still, I think we will have a problem. 
yeah, not quite because of course here you have just the optional chaining and of course like we saw before yeah well optional chaining will also work uh, there and have us covered but still it makes sense to use the option because then you have more control over everything right when you do this just this right and you do it like this yeah no problem that you cannot read it still have have, have some uh, some options there of course if you want to do something like uh, the following thing this well this will not working of course we need to do something like this full We just said it does not exist on type fuzz because fuzz can be undefined there. But if we just remove it right there, well, also there we get an error. So again, I think, yeah, for that it's just great. Just working and just says, yeah, it cannot do that. So we already can be warned uh, there. Um, of course, what you could do is something like this or undefined, right? But okay. What if we do that? Uh, what if we do this with uh, the the option, right? So we can do that like this. And again, just do something like this, I guess, or Also there we get yeah first can be first can be undefined right so yeah it's not really working Let's see if we will execute this you'll you'll see that we will get the same error cannot read yeah, of course I need to save it but again it will not work we have some errors there and we cannot fix it like this. And of course, an option that we could do is just do it like this within um, the functional programming library. We can just wrap uh, foo into a nullable, and then we can wrap bar into a, num num a nullable, right? If we do so, we can do it like this say foo, then all dot from nullable, we map everything that's in there which is um, foo here then we have here bar and we can wrap that bar also into a nullable and then we can say that we want to have from this bus right and then we can just do console.log to see how this works out and what it prints out so if we do so we'll see that we have some uh, that we have something which can be of a valuable underscore tag num if we want to have bus right here but this becomes very complex you need to chain a lot of things in in in, in, in them together and for that uh, functional programming language that we are using fpts has flatten because we only want to have, of course, here none, right? We are only interested in bus. We don't. We, we are not interested in what what bar is, right? So we 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 need to do something about it. 
and we can very easily do that by just do o.flatten and then you will see that we only have the following results which is tag in one byte and of course if we here say that we want to have something like like this we have buzz tag with me right and if we then run it we have tag sum and then tag value and then again we have just one option because of course you don't want to have an option and an option and an option and an option and an option because then you have again a lot of checks to do into your code it makes it more complex so for that it makes more sense to do it like this with the o dot flatten and of course <laughs> for some people this can be very complex right but again use this kind of structure if it's usable for your code if you think that this will solve something in your code right if you say okay yeah an option is something that's very interesting to use well <clears throat> do so so still a lot of code to do so right and again you need to be aware that you need to do oh dot flatten here at the end if you forgot that well then we have a little bit of a problem of course so wouldn't it not be make more sense to just uh, make that code a little bit easier well of course you can do so well we can just remove o dot flatten there and we can change o dot map into o dot chain if we do so and then we execute this one right we got tag sum and then value uh, tag with me of course if we just change here uh, this one into undefined also there we will have tag num which is also great to do so if you go to other programming languages the option uh, the option type is something that's very common so if you go to java i think they have also a library there where you have the option sum and the option none uh, and in, in other languages you will find that as well so it's great to have that also into typescript so again optional chaining is most of the time just enough for you to use uh, you you will mainly not yeah use options that much there but it's an important concept to know because in the next videos we will discuss either and either yeah if you don't know what an option is well then it would be harder for you to just really understand either right so for that i just want to cover it that you already understand it why it's there what the uh, the, the the options of option are right uh, and, and and what you can do with it so again this is just an alternative within the library of fpts but this can be easily done with optional chaining of course within typescript so for that no worries it's just to explain you what it is within fpts i hope you enjoyed it please uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching and See you next time. Bye.